just felt pretty comfortable just uh, coming in, still being myself, whether I'm starting or coming off the bench, just trying to produce the things I've been doing and just keep doing it at a high level. What do you think from, from last year to this year, uh, the biggest difference is defensively? Can you feel a, a, a big difference in the way you guys are defending this year? Yeah, I feel like uh, we're really engaged on defense. Like We know that's one of our best things, our best trait right now is turning defense into offense. So just buying in and liking to play defense, I feel like it helps us a lot. Did you see that tonight when with all the points you got off the turnovers? Yeah. What was the key to, to executing those? Uh, really just uh, get out on the break, and then when we're all running, anybody can push the ball, so it doesn't matter really who gets it. And, uh, we're all versatile, so it just makes it easy. Nas was joking a little earlier that you're one of the more, more quiet guys on the floor, but that you're even you're talking on defense uh -huh. a, a lot more than this yeah, year. Is, is, is that something that you? Yeah, uh, yeah. I gotta talk. I gotta be as loud as I can because so their fans are here now. Like you, I can't get away with it. And then it's just help for my teammates. They gotta know where I'm at, and I gotta know where they're at also. How loud can you get? I can get loud, like if I need to, you know, <laughs> loud enough. <laughs> We'll go to Zoom. Jakes, go ahead. Oh. One challenge, 30 minutes. How good does that feel? Uh, super good. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you? How have you been able to early in the season as as the fellows go up? Some observe, some probably not. How have you managed to control the frustration and not get too frustrated and keep doing what you're doing? Because like the defense has been good when the fouls haven't been called. Like how have you managed to? not change your play too much and, and keep the frustration at a minimum? Uh, I'll say just being able to just control what I can control. Like some nights I might get the whistle more than others. So just continuing like watching film on like my fouls and stuff like that's something I've been doing. And just continuing to stay solid on defense, like not, not going for fakes and little things like those. Then, uh, the shots weren't necessarily falling for you guys tonight, but you still scored, um, you know, points on turnovers, second chance points. How much of an area of growth is that? Um, still managing to put points on the board, even on the nights when the shots don't fall? Uh, I would say it's big just being able to come down also in the half court and just run our sets and uh, make sure we're doing it with a lot of pace. And I feel like that's also something we can get better at and working towards. Thanks. We'll go last question to Leo. Leo, go ahead. Leo. Adrian, uh, there's been a lot of talk on social media um, about your uh, headband and uh, how you've been playing since wearing that headband. And so, you know, how does that impact you? Do you feel like that's been a, a mental thing for you or why did you start rocking the headband? Uh, I just decided to change it up a little bit. I had this look in college. I kind of liked it a little. So I'd be seeing stuff like, uh, like, some it was like three and zero history with Jay with the headband or something like that. Yeah, it's just cool just to see little memes and stuff. 